Cricut is a novel light sensor that is fully self-powered. It does not need an external power supply or a battery. Cricut is based on a simple analog circuit that uses a single photovoltaic cell to harvest energy from incident light. When the harvested energy reaches a specific level, it transmits a short and strong radio frequency chirp. The frequency of chirps received from a cricket is proportional to the intensity of the incident light. We have evaluated the performance of the cricket. Its radiometric response function is linear. It can measure light levels from 10 lux to 170,000 lux, which is well above direct sunlight. That translates to a wide dynamic range of 84.6 decibels. Here we show real-time measurements produced by two crickets while moving light patterns are projected above them. The projected patterns are step, ramp, and sign functions. We have fabricated a total of 24 crickets. Since each cricket chirps at a specific RF frequency, a large number of crickets can be packed into a narrow frequency band and detected without interference. Here, an array of crickets is being manually configured to emulate a low-resolution image sensor. The output of the cricket array is shown as an image. Here is a result when a spotlight is shown over the array. Next, a ruler casts a shadow over the array. And finally, a hand is waved over the array. We have developed a novel sensor that is a cube with a cricket attached to each of its faces. The cube can measure the direction of the centroid of any illumination, irrespective of its complexity. The blue dot shows the ground truth centroid computed using an HDR fisheye camera, and the red dot is the centroid computed using just the six measurements from the cube. Notice that the centroid does not correspond to the direction of the sun, as the contribution of the rest of the sky is significant especially when clouds move over the sun. Among other applications, the centroid is useful for tracking and solar power generation. A known application of light sensors is the control of indoor lights for energy conservation. In this example, crickets are placed in three locations where the illumination needs to be held constant. Three table lamps are automatically controlled to keep the cricket measurements constant while the ambient light varies. The top right shows that the cricket measurements remain close to their desired values even though the ambient illumination varies dramatically. The bottom right shows the lamp intensities produced by our control algorithm. In this experiment, controlling the lamps resulted in an energy savings of 37%. Today, photochromic lenses are widely used in eyeglasses, as they can darken when exposed to bright light. But a major drawback of photochromic glasses is that they are slow to adapt. They take roughly half a minute to go from light to dark, and up to two minutes to go from dark to light. We have modified the cricket circuit to develop a self-powered controller that can adjust the transmittance of a liquid crystal valve based on the illumination of the environment. This technology was used to create a pair of battery-free electronic transition glasses. Notice how the transmittance of the glasses change almost instantaneously with abrupt changes in illumination. In our last application, we show how crickets can be used to create a musical instrument. Light measured by the left cricket is mapped to volume and the right cricket to frequency. Our cricket prototype can be significantly miniaturized. Reducing the active area of the photovoltaic simply reduces the chirp frequency. Here, we show the chirp frequency as a function of the active area for a light level of 700 lux. Our prototype can produce robust light measurements even when the active area is just 1.7 by 1.7 millimeters in size. This bodes well for the applicability of crickets in a wide range of real-world applications.